think it was Tuesday, Seamus was uh, messing around the dryer and I kind of heard some weird noise. And it sounded like there was an animal in our dryer hose. And so I turned on the dryer just to see if anything would come out. We heard some wrestling, then the dryer about five minutes later just stopped. So we think the dryer's broken. Now there is a foul smell in our house. We took apart the tubing and now the dryer actually smells like there's something maybe dead in it. So this is going to be a fun day. Did I mention the smell? I mean, it's almost like dry heave bad. I'm actually gonna put a tea bag in the mask because that's how bad the smell is. Sad, I know. But genius idea. Smells minty. We found a dead something. <laughs> I'm outside because uh, the dry heat factor is very, very high today. I saw a dead animal in our dryer. That smells terrible. <sighs> Lord. So let's recap what happened. A rat must have felt the heat from the dryer from outside. The rat climbed up into the thing, came all the way down, and went through our little tube. The cat heard it all going on. I was like, okay, I'll get the rat up and I'll scurry back out. I turned the dryer on no heat, let the dryer run for a while, and the dryer stopped. No way did I think the rat was actually in there and died. I thought the rat ran out and the dryer was just broken. Maybe the rat did something inside the dryer. A couple days later, we started to do the smell, and that's where we lead to this. Now the rat lives here. So I just ended up taking him out and throwing him into the woods across the street so we can decompose and give back to the earth. <laughs>